Let's go, people. Uh, welcome back once I'm on the fucking game. Um, today we're gonna go through uh, Act 3. Uh, probably in a uh, shorter time than we did Act 1 and Act 2. Because uh, our build is basically uh, done. Now our biggest objective is trying to find uh, a 3 link in the new area. Uh, we literally just finished Act 2 and went to Act 3, right? This is the first waypoint before the city. There was always a little map before the city for the acts. Um, and we're gonna go straight there. There are some things left to be done in Act, uh, in act 2. But uh, this one is totally optional. There's nothing there, just a hideout. Uh, which I can sh I will show you after probably next video, and uh, in here uh, there is a ascendancy, a labyrinth ascendancy, which is something uh, we're gonna need at the end of Act Three. So probably in the next video before we go to Act Four, we're gonna go there. So uh, same node, dash through contagion, as strain. Let's move along. Uh, here we're gonna be doing a little quest. And uh, this quest is... Oh, I removed the music. Just a second. Music here. Okay. Um, in here, there is a quest that we have to save uh, Clarissa. This is the only quest that you cannot just uh, go through and uh, it's okay. It's something you really need to stay here. Kill the people, kill this guy here, the guard captain. Then save her and talk to her, and then this is gonna initiate a quest we are going to need it right now. So you save Clarissa, she talks about Tolman, her boyfriend, I think, or something like this. And, and oh, something dropped here. Okay. I need to increase the volume of my loot filter. Check here, loot filter. Okay, that's maximum. Okay. Um, so what happens is uh, we talk to her, now we go to the city, this is called the Sarn Encampment, uh, and oh yeah, we can't dash in the city. You don't have to go uh, to the middle of the city, right there, right, to open the waypoint, it is saved already here. We can just go here and enter the slums. Uh, you could go there. There's no reason why not. Uh, I just don't because I don't want to go there and then come back here. Uh, I could also just open a portal here, go back there and check the vendors uh, to see if we can get any four links, but I'm not desperately in need of a four link. It is quite nice. Now this map, uh, a good read of it is just come straight here. Uh, there is a uh, descending part here, so probably it's not here. What do we want? What we want is we want to find the sewers. There is a grade uh, which takes us to the sewers, and um, to open that, we need the key that we're gonna find on the next quest. And this quest is the reason why we talk to Clarissa, because if we don't talk to her, she's not gonna tell us about Tolman, and then we're not gonna know that we have to save Tolman. And I don't know what are the real implications, just now we have to really wait for her there. Can even make a ta test next time with the other tombs. Uh, just remembering people, just reminds you that uh, if you are enjoying the videos, just like, subscribe down below. Thanks very much if, you, if, you, if you've done so. Uh, I will be doing uh, this exact thing walk walkthrough, but less explained in detail. Uh, for the next characters, at least one build for each one. Um, let me think. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the Ranger, but for the Marauder, I'm probably going to do a Tectonic Slam build uh, or a Earth Shatter. Don't really know. For the Templar, I'm going to do the Divine Ire, the Kamehameha one. So what happens is we didn't find a grade and we don't need to find it now. We're gonna need to find to get to the next part. What we want here it go, is to go to the crematorium. So one thing we can do is we go to the crematorium and we're gonna do whatever we need to do there and then we go back to the city. 
what I usually do is in these lumps I find the grade usually I find like 90% of the time I leave a portal I go here I enter I save I say I didn't say we don't save Tomlin I'm sorry you're gonna hear his scream very soon and uh, what we do is uh, we take the key uh, we take his bracelet in fact and we deliver it back to Clarissa she gives us the key to the sewer and then I just have to enter the portal so I kind of have to walk all the way back to the waypoint uh, because when you log out your portals are immediately closed the instances are not but your portal will be just closed when you do that and I'm horrible at reading this look what I did like one two three four uh, that ends okay, let's go here again we are basically wearing white items this is the crematorium and you can see most shit here is red so get ready for some fire damage how is our defenses? Oh, 60 fire. Oh no, we're very good. We even have Chaos Rest. It's a good one. Uh, if you really take your time to try crafting some things as you go through Act 1 and 2, uh, it facilitates your life. Here, one more unique boss that's a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, let's go. You can see now, and that's interesting, I didn't talk about loot filters. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a separate video about it, but just to give you a heads up, you can uh, go to Google and type filter blade. This will take you to a website and you can download their uh, regular or strict filter. What it does is it will, after a certain level, which you can uh, decide what it is, but if you just get the regular, you do no changes, that's okay, don't worry. The loot filter is not gonna screw you. Okay, don't, <clears throat> don't. It's not gonna filter things that you should look. In fact, the irregular or the strict are like the base ones you should use because you don't wanna be looking at all of the items. Look, I'm gonna hold out here. Like, let me throw some like stronger creature here. Let's see here. Okay, like this rustic sash here. I don't even know why it's showing, but it's showing. Uh, but most things that drop you don't want to be looking at because you're not going to be uh, getting them like grim and a fla uh, flasks is a whole thing in its own because till you get to end the game you're going to change flasks a lot of times a lot of times i'm going to put my points here i finished here we finished here we finished here now what we can do is um, if you don't want to play wearing a shield Okay, if you don't want to use uh, a shield, you can go all the way here, down here, get acrobatics and these three points here because you need, and then phase acro. This is what you could do. Oh, but I don't, I don't want to, I want to wear a shield. Okay, so what we could do down here is uh, if we play, okay, let's go first with a uh, bow. Okay, I want to use bow, I'm going to do that. I don't want to. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna come here, and here, to atrophy. Oh, but uh, I think my damage is okay for now. I want my contagion to spread a little more. So you can just go here and grab these nodes here. Um, what I'm going to do this time, I think I have enough damage. Uh, we don't even have a, uh, what is that? What is the name of that? We don't even have a decent wand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab this uh, so we get more area. Uh, if you decide to play Spells Linger, I haven't played uh, since Ray Spells Linger. I thought about playing during this time around, but it has been nerfed on recent patches uh, and it will change a little the mechanic on how, the, how your setup of gem works. If you don't know what Spells Linger is, it is a new ability, it has recently been added to the game in two patches ago. And what it does is you use your wand to attack, could be an auto attack, or a skill that uses your wand to attack, like Frenzy, for example. And when you do that, it casts the ability it is linked to. However, it comes with a drawback of reserving your mana. And what they did in the last patch is they increased the mana reserved. So it means that you need to get these points here to reduce your mana reservation and you need to get these points here to reduce your mana reservation uh, I think you also have to travel all the way here 
to get this points of life and then you get this mana reservation nodes here and if and you can then anoint uh where is it it was here a mana reservation mana reservation this one no reduce mana reserved no yeah i think they move it there was a mana reservation out here you probably move it here. Yeah, aura skills, increase the area of effect of aura skills, reduce the mana reserved, and increase the effect of non curse aura strong aura skills. So you can do this one here as well. Uh, going back to. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't spend my points. So one thing you can do, you can see I'm not having problems with mana, right? But if you are having problems with mana, you can allocate these two points here. And you're gonna get 10 mana, mana gain no kill. And usually when you cast Contagion, that's like 12 mana. And Essence Drain, that's 17 mana, so that's 29. Uh, when you do this combo, you're gonna kill like at least the entire pack you are in, right? If, the, if they are not yellow mobs. If they are, you're gonna have to cast a little Blight, or maybe uh, just cast it again, which I don't think it is, it's the case. But if you kill in once, like 4% of your mana, I mean uh, 10 flat mana, you're gonna get if you kill one creature. Uh, look, this is a pack of white mana. I'm just gonna use Contagion. Just Contagion. That's like, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 50 mana back. So you have no mana problems while you have that. I don't think I'm having mana problems for now. The only mana problems I have, it's going to be like with bosses. And with bosses, you're not going to be killing them, so you're not going to be getting mana back. So, you can work on that. You see my life going down? It is just going down a little slow because I have fire rest, and this thing here, yes, this deals fire damage. So, if you have fire rest, you can kind of walk through it. Uh, if you don't have, uh, don't. It's just going to like kill you. Oh, but it killed you. Yeah, you can just go back. Uh, the first time I played this game around, I felt like, oh my god, this game is like so easy. You can just like die over and over in the boss fights. You just can die over and over in the area you are. It's because literally the game is a tutorial on how to play maps. Maps get the difficulty of this game to a whole nother level. Um, and if you're not following a, a guide on uh, not necessarily on how to play the game, but on how to, to make a build, it's uh, quite difficult when you get to maps if it is not a somewhat tank build. So here, one more crafting recipe. Again, I can only see these recipes because I haven't. Holy moly! That's I don't have. I don't have. Uh, what's the name of that? Uh, life rest. Did you see how much damage it takes? Just because I have only 27 life rest. So, this is the person I have to kill. Die here, baby. Die here. Just the essence drain. That's the boss of it. That's basically one of the bosses of it. And the problem with uh, with this uh, electric thing is that uh, when you are electrocuted, you receive increased damage. And lightning damage in this game it has a a very high high. In a very low low, so it means like uh, a, if you get a. Let me see if I have an example here. No, there's no example. Maybe here. No, net softed level with increased physical damage. Let's listen. Hmm. No, it's a decent. Uh, it's a double physical. Oh, that's a nice one. We're gonna be talking about mods and how they behave within items. Uh, much further down the road when we talk a little more about crafting but what happens is that uh, you cannot roll the same mod twice in an item uh, there are no exceptions to this but if you see the first modifier there prefix river tier 6 it gives 29 increased physical damage right the, the range is from 25 to 34 and the accuracy is from 47 to 72. Uh, but there is increased physical damage there. This is increased physical damage of the weapon, not your increased physical damage. 
and then the second prefix is increased physical damage. What happens is the first one is a hybrid of physical and accuracy. Uh, but when the game is calculating the item, it sums the things which are the same, right? So sometimes you think like, oh, this life, uh, this item here, for example, it contains energy shield already. And then you press here and it's like something in energy shield. Oh, so I can craft more energy shield in it. Uh, the only hybrid that doesn't exist, it's uh, like cold res and fire res. Light res, this never goes together. But there is one which is like cold res and chaos res. But it's gonna be in the same line. Because that's a specific line. And I haven't spent my points yet. Let me go here. Okay. Here, let's talk to Tallman. Like me, let's touch Tallman. <laughs> Uh, or the nicest way possible. Uh, no pedo bear, okay? Please. So we go back here. This is the people uh, of the Sarn encampment. This is uh, Gregor. I love the voice acting on this guy. He's an isomite. Uh, it's an amazing voice acting they've put into this game. It's one of the first reasons I literally fell in love with the game. I don't think Gregor he was give us anything now, you know. He will give us a passive skill when we kill Piety. Spoiler alert. Meramoa. Oh, she gives us this already. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. This is a power spike for us. So here she basically is going, she gives us um, the new set of abilities, which are curses and more auras, right? Auras from now on are big deal, okay, on Act 3. I thought it was in the next quest. Okay. So what we want is this one, Malevolence. Malevolence makes that your damage over time abilities deal more damage. Again, more damage, it's better than increased damage. Uh, there's a calculation thing there. Further down the road, I show you why. But uh, take this for as it is for now. Uh, we also want Bane. Bane is stupidly strong. Uh, but Bane doesn't work, doesn't have the same synergy with Contagion. There is a whole other build, there are thousands of builds out there, but there is a, another way to play Trickster uh, with Chaos damage over time, which is so Bane Soul Rend, which is also quite nice, I haven't really played. And Despair, Despair is a curse. Curses now have a new thing on this patch that I really haven't got into, which is a hex, a hex blast and hex stacking. It, it is a thing like when you curse an enemy, right? You will decrease a propriety on them, right? So flammability will uh, curse enemies, and they have minus twenty five fire resist. This is a big deal. Minus twenty five fire resist is a lot, uh, and some of them come with other benefits, such as hit against cursed enemies have plus twenty five chance to ignite. So if you wanna, if you're playing an ignite build, which doesn't have a full chance of igniting, or just wanna take a, um, just a, you wanna use ignite on, on a part of your build that it's not designed for, which is extra damage, why not, right? Uh, the same thing happens with conductivity, but that's light resist, then there's frostbite, which is cold grass, there is elemental weakness, which is a little less, but it's in all elements, and there are some builds that play with multiple elements at the same time. Um, then there is Despair, which is for Curse, for Curse, for Chaos, I'm sorry. Uh, and Feeble, which is, uh, it decreases their chances to, to hit you. And we have plenty of others. Temporal Chains has a nice interaction. Uh, Hatred is pure extra cold damage, and increased physical damage is extra cold damage, which is a very strong modifier in this game. Uh, wrath or lightning. Oh, and this is the thing about lightning I was saying. Look, you and your nearby allies deal 2 to 37. So, like, the low damage range is like 2. Usually it's 1 for lightning. But the high end is like 37. This is level 1. Uh, this happens with many lightning skills, with many lightning things. Like, the low part is like 1, and then the high damage is like 30. Uh, 357 so like your hits can go very very high or you know you have this big variety but you have a very nice uh, high peak right 
So what are we gonna get here? Uh, what we can do is you can just close and get it after because I want to get here to Clarissa because now that I have finished the quest somebody in the city sells me all of those gems and some more look one of them being Spell Slinger I want to know what I need to buy here it's an alteration okay wait Malevolence is alteration Bane is alteration okay so it doesn't really matter which one I get because I have eight alterations we're good to go I thought it would be Orbs of Chance I don't have Orbs of Chance so we get Malevolence we're gonna equip Malevolence here we're gonna equip our... I'm gonna have to think how, the, how, how it's gonna work now because purchase Malevolence and Bane now what happens with Bane Bane is a skill that it applies a debuff in an area and it deals chaos damage but it applies the Bane damage and the damage that the curse it is linked to. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna use Bane to apply... Uh, where is it? I forgot. Infeeble, Frostbite, Vulnerability, no. I forgot. Jesus Christ. Chaos. Here, Despair. Yeah, Despair. So we're gonna link Bane and this pair together. Now we need one more slot for my malevolence, which I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can change the sockets on this. Talking about sockets, let's check the vendor. I didn't check the ones there, I shouldn't check it. Let's get in here, purchase items. I'm not gonna change my setup of wand and shield to get a two-handed furling. We're not gonna do it, not gonna go into do that. So Oh, look, blue, blue, green. It has some good stats, right? But this is a better blue, blue, green because it's a vision and energy shield. Just the basic energy shield without anything else. It's already more than energy shield that this gives me. So this would be a good armor for us to change to. Uh, however, one, we don't have transmutations and two, uh, it's not a four link. Let's wait to do change for a four link. Hopefully we can drop. This is a four slotted glove, but it's not four linked. Mm, so I want to check for four links. Okay, no four links. So sad, 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 sad. Let's go back to Clarissa because I want to check her once. Okay, nothing good here. So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna sell, 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 sell this, sell this. Great mana flask, one seventy. Okay gonna get this one here so what we're gonna be doing is I hope there is no animals in here I mean rats um, what we can do is we can uh... what are we gonna do here let me think I'm using Flame Dash, Arcane Surge, and Summon Skater Bots. Summon Skater Bots doesn't have to be here. So we can use Bane, Despair, and Arcane Surge. This is the best training we can have here. Then in another place, we are going to place Malevolence, and we're going to place Skater Bots. And now I need a blue socket for my dash. I could either change this one here, but I don't want to. Uh, or I can just try to recall it. I need one blue, come on. Okay, two. <laughs> okay, take two. Here. Here we go. Take it. Summon skater bots, malevolence, uh, bane, despair. That's it. Okay. Now, what happens is. Uh... Oh, yeah, my portal closed. I think I locked it, right? Okay, whatever. Now, this here is the ascendancy plaque which uh, it's going to open up and open an area which is the entrance to the labyrinth which we're going, to, we're going to use to ascend but we need to complete all of these this is an act one we've walked by that area this area we haven't really entered but i know where it is i'm going to show you uh, and these two areas we're going to walk through and the last one is basically before the the final part of the this act so let's walk a little more let's walk 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 okay 
This is probably a new instance. No, it's not. Oh, there is. I didn't see that. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay. I changed my links uh, from where they were, so the order is fucked up. Now this is this pair. We cannot curse this pair because we cannot cast this pair because this pair is linked to Bane. So when we cast Bane, it casts this pair automatically. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, I could change. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna change the arcane search for testing casting. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do like this. Okay, I need uh, my dash, W, F, nothing. Okay, now, this is the grade it's had. I didn't see it here because I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. Let's move on. <coughs> uh, flask up, move, move. Let me just use Bane for you to see. Yeah. This is the power of Bane. This is so it doesn't have a, it doesn't even have arcane surge link to it to increase its damage. Ah, I don't even have my auras. <laughs> I forgot about that. So here, skitter bots and malevolence. Uh, I think we're gonna have two little mana if we cast both. Yes. And now it's the period that it would be nice for us to get these two here because we only have 40 mana. Yeah, so we don't really have much mana. What I prefer doing is I just drop skitter bots for now. Because we don't really need to have too much damage. And I don't want to have to be uh, reallocating passive points or using mana pots all the time. Uh, I don't know if you observed, but I have barely used mana, pot, mana pots so far. Only in bosses. Click on this waypoint. Don't do like me in the last three big starts. You forget to do this. Then you have to find the, the entrance to this area again and walk all the way there. Remember to do that. So, new flask. The flask we have already recovers 100 and. Uh, wait, no, 800. How much? Wait a second. 800 life. We have 400. We don't need to upgrade our life flask now. We barely ever take damage and we don't even have many. Uh, what was it called? Uh, we don't even have many passive points allocated, you know, defensive uh, passive points. Uh, Amber Amulet, I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, another strong box, that's nice. Really. Something that annoys me and annoys the hell out of me is uh, collision, right? I hate collision. There is a flask that gives us phasing, and as soon as I get one, I'm going to use all the way. Now, a nice thing uh, about flasks is you can, you should always be uh, looting, right? Uh, getting the flasks that have quality. One, because they are better if you're gonna use, and secondly, because they will, we will going to, we are going to use them. For a recipe to create a flask bubble blower, I think it's the name. And what it does is get in this guy for God's sake. He didn't even get it. Uh, it's going to give us uh, this currency that we can use in our flasks, especially the special flasks, to increase their quality and therefore increasing the duration of them. Now, when you see this symbol here in the minimap, it means that there is a hideout there. Uh, during the campaign, there are several hideouts that you can just enter, and there will be Elena here, and there will be creatures here. I think even now there is creatures. But the first time you come here and you do this, let's just clean the area. She's gonna tell you to uh, clean the area. And when you do so, it's gonna unlock this to be your hideout. I do think I have this hideout already, but it didn't have one of the basic hideouts uh, this league, like recently. And I don't, ah, I'm just gonna get in, you know, and do it, see what happens. And I'm like, oh, you unlocked. And I got like, oh, I didn't have that. But it's not a hideout I like myself. Uh, so it will appear more like this, look, on the city hideout. As I told you here, next to in here, in this area, in the northern forest, after we have finished uh, entering that cave and 
unlocked the seal we are in an open part before the tunnels and there there is this side area which there you will find the first hideout that's possible to get as far as I know. Might be wrong, might be wrong before, I might be wrong again. So uh, I forgot one of the, the one of the busts. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run back because I forgot to go there. To get the other statue. Because this is a quest that we wanna do for getting points there, there it is. Talking too much, not paying attention. Going here. Would you die please? Thank you. Uh, this is a nice area. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't talk about that. Uh, but when you get in the end game, maps are literally areas like this. Uh, this is a short area. This is like the area of a map with a specific layout, which is the sewers layout. And there are maps with the exact same. But at the end, there is always a boss, uh, which is not like multi-phased, always. Sometimes they are. Uh, and the thing is, what doing maps is like you open a map in your map device, you do it, you go out, get a new map, you do it, and that's it. That's the grinding of the end game. But these areas here, like any area in the game, I can just do like this, and then I'm going to open a new area here, where I was, and I can literally farm this area. There are some areas, and people abuse this, especially in hardcore, because in hardcore you must be well geared before moving forward, you must have your resists, you must have some decent life, very soon in the game. So what people will do in this area, there is a small chance here to drop a card to get a tabula rasa. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, and people like to farm this area because there is always a pack of blue monsters uh, guarding the statues. So what you can do is, uh, let me find where is the one of the busts here. Uh, one more creature. And also is an easy area to read. It's very 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 easy. Okay, some extra things here for us. Let's keep her moving. Keep her moving. Okay, I think it's down there. Be careful with these things here. Some of them are poisonous area, and some creatures. Uh, look, stash is here. A pack of blue creatures. Blue creatures give a lot of XP. Uh, and better loot, so that but the stash won't drop anything. But, I mean, it, it's gonna drop items like any other chest when you open, but people like to, to farm these areas for this very reason. We are here already, there's no reason why I'm gonna check if it's the next bust. The picture, because I'm a chip bitch and I like chip bitch and I like to. I like to just, ooh, Citrine Amulet, that's the one I want, right? Yeah, Strength Amulet. I can try crafting this one for us. Show what we can find here. It's not the best of uh, things to be crafting right now, but we could do that. Oh, I could have opened a portal there, and then I just got the waypoint and went st straight to the to the portal. Would have been more intelligent than walking back and then walking. And walking again. Whenever you get in the area, you can see nobody's gonna attack me. And what happens is uh, you have a grace period uh, when you get in a map for your computer to load, uh, and no creature will attack you. So if you're in this situation here, just like dash away, cast your abilities. Uh, something interesting about uh, this ability here, if you use a challenge. Uh, I don't think it's possible to see here. Ah, there, look. Did you see that I get a bubble? This is a protective buff that helps us when we are casting. But most of the time we don't want to be standing still, casting shit. Now this area here, sometimes it's not as easy to find this. Uh, the Decanter Spiritus, but it's also a optional thing. 
uh, but we need to get this for a quest to resurrect Graves again. Yes, I mean, not gonna resurrect him, we're gonna kill him uh, because he wants this time. Uh, now we talk to Hargan. If we have the three busts in our <clears throat> in our inventory, he's gonna get all of them and gonna give us this thing. This thing here is a skill, uh, a book of skill, which is like the ones we got before. But this one, it's more common now. They gives us a passive skill point and two passive respect points. So basically, basically a regret orb. I don't think I have a regret orb here to show you. No, I don't have. But regret orbs are these ones. You use them, you consume them, and they will increase these refund points here. So you can click in refund passives and just remove the things. I can't remove this point here because it is connecting this side of the tree to this side, right? But if it's not there, I can just do this. Oh, but I want to know how much damage I have if I do this or that. The game doesn't calculate, only the China version, which it's a shame. Uh, but there is a, an app that we use for that which is called uh, Path of Beauty and there's two versions to them, the old version and the fork version. If you search for this on Google, you, sh you should find how to download and I'm going to be making a video about it. So here, nice boot for us, horrible energy shield but fire res and move speed. It's basically the one that we have, but the one we have gives us 7 life, which is pretty much ignorable. Ah, but gives us two reses but we can craft a different dress and it's a better fire dress so we're gonna stick to this new boot um, yeah we're gonna stick to it we're gonna stick to this one I mean we're not gonna keep this one so sell this item, sell this let's give it a try shit okay two stone rings these are the rings we wanna have on our uh, ring slots uh, it gives us two dresses Yes, there is uh, three of them, uh, fire and cold dress, cold and lightning, and a lightning and fire. You can see this, ooh, that's a nice one. We can see this based on the stones they have here, like it's a blue and red, so that's uh, the implicit, right, the first mod there is uh, fire and cold. And we can reroll that number very easily further down the road. Uh, we're not gonna be using this for very long, depending on how good they are. Sometimes we do use them for quite a while. Now, the chances of this being a good shoot is terribly little, but... Oh, that, yeah. It's a decent shoot, but... This lot's gonna fuck us. So, I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> Let me drink something here. My voice is basically going away. Now it's three, okay. No. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna put this one here, flame dash. Okay, maybe like this. This amulet, I'm gonna show how we would craft it. I just have one alteration. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it here. After we can try uh, crafting this one. This one, however, we're gonna try crafting. You can see that it has one suffix. So blue items can have uh, one suffix and one prefix. So we can use an augmentation because that's a blue item, yes, and we can try to lend life. That would be our dream. And it should good enough for you. Now what happens? This ring here has 22 cold res plus 12 cold res on the implicit, so that's 34 cold res alone, and uh, 12 fire res. So total, this is 12 cold plus. So 12 fire plus 12 cold plus 22 cold. So that's 34, 34, 46 res. That's 46 res total in one item. That's better than this one here. And it gives me nothing better. So I'm just going to change it. Uh, you can see, I'm going to put it back. We have uh, 6, 4, 68, 27, right? The chaos res we're going to basically ignore for now. Because there's nothing much we can do about it. So 64, 68, 27. I'm gonna change and then I have 63. So okay, I lost one of fire res. 
Wow. And then this is an interesting one, 75 and 27. But you can see that in the code res here, it says, it says like this, 75% open parenthesis, 92% close parenthesis, right? <clears throat> what happens there is that uh, your max res in this game is 75 by default. It can be increased or decreased by some forms, in some ways. However, uh, the number in between parentheses is your total res to that element. So what happens is, summing all the items I have, I have 92 code res, but my cap is 75, so for creatures that attack me, I have 75. But if they have penetration, it's gonna penetrate that and it's gonna like de uh, decrease that number, but I have extra on the top to help protect me. Um, and this is an, a, this is an interesting uh, mechanic of defense. You can always, you should always have your rests kept, but always have a little extra, like 20 extra. But then we're talking about end game uh, scenario, right? Map scenario. And sometimes we get to maps and we don't even have all, all of them um, corrected already. And we are also using the flask, which gives us 35 to all elemental resistance. So it's 6 through 3 of fire res plus 35. Uh, cold res is 92 plus 35. And light res is 27 plus 35. But only when I have the flask up, which is not all the time but I should try to make it the most of time possible. Then we avoid dying. And during bosses, this is always something difficult. I always think, always think like this. Okay, during the map, it's easy. During the area, it's easy because I'm killing things. And as I kill things, I get charges. Uh, but if you're not killing things, boss fights, you are not getting uh, those uh, back. So quality flask, keep it here. Control the destruction. I want to use this somewhere after. I'm going to keep it here and this one. Just destroy here. I'm not going to use it. The marketplace? Yeah, the marketplace. Jeez, that's cold. Oh my god. Holy moly. Mm. Vault side area. Why I'm doing vault side areas? Usually they drop good things. Uh, and many skills have a vol version of it. Blight has a vol version of it, which is the vol blight. And it's amazing to kill bosses. Uh, <clears throat> and we want to have that. Okay, this is a crazy boy. Ooh, yeah, dead. Dead boy, you did. You did. Okay, markers. Yes, nice. Here, gold ring, color ring, gold ring. You know. I don't know what all of these blue items are still showing up. Am I using the default one or am I using my filter? I'm using my filter, okay. I might have changed something, don't know. So the boss is always where this book is on the boss side area. It doesn't matter what boss side area it is. And let's see what is the boss out oh, to. Killed her. As long as you kill the boss, you can open the Vol Vessel. Vol Grace, Vol Impure Device, Vol Reef. In the scenario we're playing, Solo Cell Found, I always grab these because we can make a recipe to create Vol Orbs, which we can then use to Vol Items, which change them unpredictably. unpredictably. And that's quite nice. So now here, okay, our Contagion is nice. Uh, with three, four links, our build is gonna be basically good to go to the end game, and we're basically just gonna change equipments when we find other four links which are decent enough, or if we are in a point of the game where we can reforge the the sockets and the links. And uh, even so, we're just going to be uh, what's that? Uh, we're just going to be checking the style of items we want. We're not gonna be identifying every single chest piece. Boots we tended to identify more. 
Okay, so this is the area. This statue is gonna come to life. Spoiler alert. Here, one more unique. Don't have to kill it. I like killing them because I'm driving it. Keep on going. Waypoint. Go back here. Don't wanna go back. Now, after the waypoint, there's always gonna be the crematorium. No, it's not always to the right, but it's always gonna be here. I know the catacombs, I'm sorry. Uh, homage to Diablo 2 maybe again, you know. And what happens here, there is a... Um, what is the name of that? In the catacombs, there is a... Labyrinth of Ascendancy. And you wanna do that. So this map is... I don't know how to read it properly. Uh, I always come to the right and we, we did it. Lucky. Lucky boy. Oh no, that's just an ancient graffiti. Because at the entrances of the labyrinth, there is always a little book. Which you think is there, yeah, it's there. Remember, strong boxes, open and move it. If you already have a frizz and chill flask, you pop it, you open and you move, right? Don't wait to be frozen. Ah! To do that, yeah. Uh, you're okay. Okay. Is my no? Yeah. Okay. I imagine so. Uh, here, one more crafting recipe: elemental damage with attacks. Yeah. Don't want elemental damage. I thought we were good there. Here, black. So now we need the first one, the second one, and the next one, so we can ascend. When we ascend, we get a massive power spike. I don't need to walk here, I don't know why I'm walking. Just go back to the waypoint, um, to the marketplace. I leveled up, right? Check the vendors. Do I really have to check the vendors every single time? No, look, for link. Ay, ay, ay. Three link, evasion. Mm. No, I'm gonna wait for a four link. Oh, why? It's an armor and energy shield. You see, because it's armor and energy shield, it requires strength. We don't have the strength. We could just change some points and get it, but I don't want to. Three link here. I don't want to change this one. I'm gonna keep it here. Ooh. Whoa. This would be a nice one. I'm gonna wait to change for four links. Don't really have to rush this. You never know. Oh, whoa! Like, this is the perfect setup of an item you can find in boots. Life? Ras? Ras move speed. But it's horrible. It's very little life. It's very little Ras. It's very little Ras and 10 move speed. I could change it. I could change. Yeah, I'm not gonna change. What's that? It's gonna change so little. It's the thing is I'm gonna have to recolor this one. And when I get a four link boot, I'm gonna change it again. So preferably we. Oh shoot. Now okay, never mind. Let's, let's keep it like this. Let me start this away. Uh, okay, these are the. Last contract, so you need to do that. Marketplace, let's go back. Let's try to rush a little. Walking, walking. Okay, creatures, transmutations. Now we're gonna see that the game is gonna start giving us. Uh, the more you progress, the more the game start, uh, starts to give us more and more rock currency so like we start dropping a lot of transmutation and a lot of augmentations and a lot of alterations it's not like plenty like in a map or in an area you're gonna drop like 10 alterations no but it's gonna constantly start giving us and also we start moving faster through the game which makes uh, it seems that we are dropping more things and this is one of the steps of being inefficient the faster you map the faster you kill the more you kill, the more you kill, the bigger is the chance that you drop things and, uh, and there's just chance on, on dropping good things, right? Whenever you kill something, there's a chance it's a good stuff. So if you, if you kill 10 things, there's 10 chances it's a good thing. 
if you kill a thousand things that's a thousand times you take the chance so now the waypoint is usually straight from the entrance and somewhere to the left i don't think there is any version of this map which is to the right i don't think i've never found uh, now when we get there we really want to go here and click this and get the ribbons pulled this we're going to need for somewhere down the road now what happens is technically we would go still continue going here but we can't cross this uh, because there is a magic power here and uh, what happens it forces us to go somewhere else and now what we want to do is we want to enter uh, in this area here but before we go there you can just uh, follow this the staircase here this way and you're gonna find the dots sometimes it's a little farther sometimes uh, it's a little closer now in the docks we need to find one more thing which is a talk uh, for uh, the javelin queen she's gonna help us yeah be careful with these things look they uh, apply corrupt blood on us that's a form of bleeding and it's stack stacked very very high uh, the last boss on act 4 uses a lot of this shit and it's quite annoying to handle it you can try using a uh, a gem but it's basically impossible for you to get a gem in this part of the game that's gonna help with corrupted blood because that's a vault implicit you can only get by applying a vault gem in a, a vault orb in a gem and praying for it to to give you that implicit uh, and it's difficult, it's quite difficult. Uh, however, it's one of the late uh, end game upgrades we're going to do to our build to be able to do what's the name of the boy? The Awakener. The Awakener. Okay. Let's go here. Dogs, move again. Uh, something interesting about this area, the docks, is that in many leagues people farm the docks because it's an area that contains a lot of monsters. Uh, it gives a good amount of XP and I don't know if there's good drops or cards here, but I know that people do farm this uh, in early game like early in the season, or again in hardcore, or when the league allows uh, us to abuse it. I haven't really abused any league uh, thing, like doing dogs farm, or there is another area in the second part of the game. So the second part is like part one, is act one to five, and part two is the same acts, but further down the road in the story, right? It was like the future version of this act after all the incidents happened in Act 1. So, oh Jesus. Did you see? Look, all these are... Okay, these are not. They are just blue by default. Uh, how many creatures we pop here? Uh, again, if you see something that looks like damage, just move away. That's, that's the secret to, to being alive. Yay, it did it. Now what happens when we get here, we to the waypoint, there's going to be our boy Captain Fairy. He's gonna tell us a beautiful story and he's gonna take the decanter we found in the previous previous area, right? The marketplace. And now what we are doing is uh, we came here, we did this and we didn't find the decanter. The, the talk so fight something, I don't remember the name. So probably it is here or here so i'm gonna go here because i'm here already what, what was the jump pure to fire don't want that and the other one multiple trap yeah. one of those yeah, i thought it wasn't but i, I just gave up on uh, rethinking a decision what is closer this one was very close to that one. oh jewelers are to reforge the number of sockets of an item jesus it's gonna be there uh, I've, uh, this is quite interesting. I would I would always get this one right the first times I played the game, and then I don't know. 
I just can't get it right anymore. Uh, I'm sure that there is something on this map that tells you, right there, that tells you where is the right direction. I just don't know what are these elements. And I don't know, I don't have the feeling. Some maps you're gonna see that there's some, some form of feeling there. Thaumatic Sophite. I think she creates a talk, something talk. Let's see. Let's check that out here. Uh, let's move in here. Again, we leveled up more than once, I think. Uh, okay, I did this point here. We could take these ones here, but it's not really profitable for us. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go through here, getting these points. Uh, to give us more life and energy shield because we are basically starving on that. We just have 400 life. That's basically unacceptable. Yeah, I think we haven't died, right? No, yeah. You, there are many comments you have in this game. This one is slash deaths, and it's gonna tell you how many times you have died on that tune, on the character. So we're just gonna go here, and now we're gonna go all the way to get this point. Here. And I need to check. I need to sell things. So sell, sell. Sell. Oh, tell it to life. Okay, now we're talking about life. Now we're talking. What mine gives 10 life, one rest, one open suffix, 30 life. I wonder the rarity of items found. But no, that one's better. Um, okay, purchase items, four links. Four links. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Forest lots, no four links. No! How dare you? Again, look. I'm gonna buy this one. I'm gonna do something you shouldn't do, but I just wanna show you something. Ah, we have three fusings. It's possible. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is uh, whenever you wanna change the numbers of sockets in an item, or you wanna change the number of links between the sockets, the higher is the quality of the item, the easier it is. Now what happens is, we do need a 4-link blue. This is perfect what we need, but it's not 4-linked. So I'm gonna try to link. Probably I won't be able to, but I wanna try. So what we're gonna do is, in armor, uh, armors are uh, gloves, boots, uh, body and a hat. Okay, helmet. We're gonna use armor scraps. If we use an armor scrap in an item that is white, it's gonna increase its quality by 5% all the way to 20. That's the natural threshold. So we can do this one, two, three times. I need one more, but I don't think I have. I think we can buy one here for one blacksmith stone, exactly. Now that it is at 20%, there is a bigger chance for it to link. We just need one, like when we reforge the links between socketed items, between uh, using or refusing, it's not like, oh, there is one, so there will be two and then there will be three. No, it's like when you use it, it's gonna randomly reroll all the links. So it's gonna make zero links or one or two or three or four or six. Right, uh, and we've got to pray. Ah, no. Oh, no. Ah, fuck off. Damn it. We failed, boys. We failed. Okay, it's no problem. Let's go. Uh, okay, let's keep it like this. I'm going to keep the essences here. Uh, but you can keep them whatever you want. I'm just going to take this back here and put it in here. These are quest items. You can't move quest items this pisses me off a lot but that's it okay. so we finish with the docks we go back to the battlefront let's see okay yeah oh yeah I forgot about this if you really don't mind the contagion effect, like just have these spread creatures, you don't really have to bother use contagion. Just use uh, Bane. It's stupidly strong. It's stupidly strong. 
Except for the creature. I know there were some creatures there, but not the other ones. These are brute creatures. Look. This spell is so broken. I'm gonna have to make a build with this after. Or maybe in the future, late maps, we can do some adaptation. We did to the build, make it like a four link. Maybe. Because contagion is an interesting spell. We don't need contagion to have uh, many links. And usually people gonna make contagion a far link, where the fourth link is an, uh, a gem called increased uh, rarity. Uh, because there is a weird interaction, and these are things that you learn by playing the game and by people studying the results. Because there is no real way, as far as I know, that you can uh, find out what hit killed something, right? And when you're using increased rarity of items on a, on a skill, uh, it's gonna... The creature that dies, or I mean, I mean all the creatures that die from that skill uh, will... This buff will be applied to, to their loot. However, oh, this is a poison one. Oh, that's okay. That's a fight, baby. Ah, okay. One more here. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what happens is that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Uh, what happens is uh, that if you only use one skill to attack, like for example, molten strike, you literally lip slam into the pack and you attack using Molten Shrine. There is nothing else. So you could link there and you, you're always going to be sure that that skill de dealt the damage that killed the creature. There is no error there. However, when you're playing Contagion Essence Train, or Essence Train Contagion if you prefer, it's what's gonna happen is you... How can you know what what was the tick of damage that killed the mob? Right? So somebody found this out. Uh, I don't know if there is a more theoretical way to do it, but I think somebody really went there and tried. Uh, and it was found uh, that when you use Contagion on mobs and you use Essence Train after, the hit that always kills the creature will always be Contagion. I don't know if it's the hit, but I know that Contagion is the one that the game considers to have killed it. So you can use this gem in Contagion, because it's not the Contagion that's going to deal the damage to the creatures, it's the Essence Train. I know it has damage on its own, but it's the Essence Train that deals with that damage. And uh, that's, that's the way you can use to, to find this. Not to find, but that's the way you can use to to drop more rare items and increase your rock currency and if you want to do a... what is the name of that? what is that? the fuck? was it a creature? attack? I think it was so on oh, waypoint, don't forget that uh, the thing you want uh, when you get to maps, if you are Using that, you can do a recipe, kills recipe, much easier. So let's here talk to Lady Diala. I'm not a cockroach. Strange. Yeah, I love her voice, but my voice is going away a little bit. Here, what we could do? Oh, that's a twenty row. Holy moly! I thought they would, they would. They, okay, whatever. So we could get this one, or we could get the strength or the dex one. The dex one because of these ones. However, the item, the uh, it's 25, right? I'm gonna get this one. But uh, you can see she talked many things to me. It's because I had the items already. I had the two items. I found one in the battlefront and the other one in the the docks. So she makes the infernal talk for me, and she uh, creates these items, this item for us. Uh, because we explained her about the passage and she wants to help us. Now, you can enter here, which is... I forgot the name of this area. Wait, what it says? Eternal Laboratory. So in here, there is the... Reverie device, uh, which is this guy that study the gems, and in here there is a crafting recipe. Most people don't do that, so that's cold damage. And there is another 
uh, thing of Malachi here. If you want to read his story, and there was oh, okay, that was Elena. She just got the like how to do the thing and put in your crafting bench. That's that's how the roleplay works here. Uh, and I think there's nothing on the other side, right? There's nothing. Okay. So now we're, what are we gonna do? We go back with this infernal chalk. We go back to the sewers, but we leveled up, and I want a far link. So I'm gonna go to the city. And I'm gonna check the ones first because I didn't check the ones last time, I think. And oh, okay. Why did I say woo? Because this is the same art of the higher level wand, but which is called a prophecy wand. Implicit goes to 42% increased spell damage, which is technically the best base we can craft, or the imbued wand. It's one of those, uh, which is the same art of this one too, but they contain nothing here, right? And keep it like this, whatever. Hmm. Two stone ring. Could buy this one. Three scrolls. What mine gives? Ugh, it's bad. Fourteen. I have a lot of code, right? So I want one that is not code here. Okay. Whatever. Sell. Here. 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 Uh, no life. Evasion rating. Energy. Light. Doesn't love software melee jumps. It's a little absurd that the number of times I have seen this, this affix, this link. It's a little absurd, in my opinion. Let's go here, put this back here. Check this boy. Opa, purchase items. What? Oh no, I thought it was a poor link. Ah! ah! Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yeah. ah. Unfortunately, it's a blue, blue, red. So we're gonna have to recall this one. But it's a four link. Uh, no! Thank you. Okay. No, wait, I don't want a four blue. I want a two blue, two green, right? Two blue, one green, okay. I accept that. Uh, essence drain, avoid manipulation, control the destruction. I don't think we have the other thing to use now. No. I'm gonna put our king surge here. Oh, uh, oh, 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 we forgot to do this one. Ah, I used the, the, uh, the resistance essence already. Mm. Okay, leave it white for now. After I can try uh, doing something with this. Uh, let's go back to the sewers. And now when we, when we went through the sewers, what happened was that there was this undying blockage here and uh, it's, it's kind of dead now and then there's one more recipe here recipe thank you physical damage we did that then we go to the ebony barracks this is basically the final stretch of the game yes because now here we're gonna go uh, down here and there's two areas here with one boss and then we're gonna go here uh, which gives us access to the library and to the tower, which is where the last boss is. Now, in here, if you just follow uh, this thing here, all the way like this, just keep on following, keep on moving, get the stairs, there are some people there, okay, you, you, you don't get any boss, you're gonna fuck you. Oh, Jesus, blood damage. You need to get some blocking. Uh, what happens is there is, oh no, it's here, there, this guy here, this is a quest boss, uh, which gives us more spells, 
And I think this is the last part that is basically the last ability that people usually get. So after here, I oh know you get things in Act Four, right? But most builds like they get the last gems here, and in the last act, it's maybe one more support gem. And I think for us, we get intensity in here. Intensity or now increased area effect is Act Four. I'm gonna be finding something. So just follow north here. If you find a wall here, just circle back. I'm gonna find the answer. I'm gonna find the, the entrance. Here uh, we are in the Lunaris temple. There is Lunaris and Solaris. Uh, this is the Lunaris temple. In this part of the game, in the part one, uh, from Act One to Five, we're not gonna be. We're not going to be using, we're not going to be exploring both uh, temples. Uh, but in the part two, we're going to. Oh, there's one guy here. I think I've never seen you before. Oh, don't want to stay there. I've never seen that information before. Now, this here is a very nice part because this is the temple of these crazy people and you can see this is the fire thing so there is an exit this way here which is where I should go and here there is the Brutus 2. Oh, there's Brutus here. Uh, I don't remember where in the story I have read something about this or if it was in the Brutal Need video but I always had this impression that this was like a reworked version look how many loot I don't need to look at it happens, this happens if you press Alt doesn't matter what filter you have, it's going to show you the the other items on the floor. Be careful if you do this in a very, very, very packed map with like incredibly number, uh, incredible number of item rarity and you have to kill everything. Sometimes there is so much loot in the screen that your game crashes. But it has to be. So let's move here. We could have gone back to get our fourth link for Essence Train, but we don't really want to do that right now. I'm um, having the flow of doing this. And I wanted to put piety before I finish this session. But we have to finish quite soon. So, okay. Now, this area uh, is a pain in the butt. This area is a pain in the butt because it's such a long walk. Uh, I've heard some tips on how to do this, which is called follow the carpets. I really haven't got into that. The last tip I've thought was follow the corpses. Like here, you can see there's corpses here, but there's like basically no corpse or zero corpse on this side so I'm gonna prefer to go to this area uh, in this area you have these crazy girls here you can see that they fire a lot of projectiles in the line like this if you play low it's basically like Heimer and what happens is they deal a lot of damage these creatures here are okay oh there's no big problem the only Bane bye bye babies so what happens is they will attack you uh, when they get look when they get your they kind of lock on you. So what happens is you wait for them to start firing and then you cast your ability in the dash because they don't like just lock in you and then they fire things. You know. So, this way you're not gonna die. Ah, but I'm gonna try to tank one, two, three hits. Don't try tanking shit. Okay. Uh, now here, some corpses here. From both side. Did you see? I'm not really sure what is uh, the type of damage they deal. I believe there's some chaos damage there. And because this is the Lunaris Temple, I think it's fire. Uh, you're gonna see that when we get to the 
no, this is Lunarius, sorry, so this should be more cold damage. When we get to... Oh, that's weird, right? We're in the Lunarius one. But when you get to Lunarius in part 2, it's really cold and uh, cold damage. That's interesting. So I, don't, I would say, I don't think it's here, but I'm gonna check. Here, parps this way. I'll go this way. Oh, fuck. No. One more ramp. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I know that when I see ramps, I, I know that I'm in a, in, a, in the correct spot. But I, I think there is a certain number of EIDs here. I think it's here. Oh, damn it. I saw like one, two, three quarts. It's like, oh, I think it's here. Uh, I think you have to go through three ramps till you get to the last part. Uh, yeah, it's here. Look, this, this area here with the, the lines. Now you get up here and you have the cards, right? Now I always fuck this up. But there are two cards here and one card. So I think it's the one card, right? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So in the part one of the game, so in the act three, when you see the, in one side of the, that thing, there's going to be two cards in the other. It's going to be one. Go to the one side. In the second part of the game, one's gonna have one and the other's gonna have zero. So you go to the zero one. It's always the, the minor one. The littler number. Okay, so here. Now, this is a long map and there's a big chance to die here. So open a portal preemptively. Uh, I'm quite surprised that I haven't died yet. I'm not a pro player. Uh, and uh, I've been playing a little worse than. Not worse, but I think I've played better. Uh, but at the same time, again, uh, they have buffed creatures, right? So the first time they played through this game, creatures were easier to kill. They dealt less damage, but they have changed them. Jesus! Ow! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! That's that's an interesting thing too. These grades here, I can just dash through them. Now, if you're playing predictive mode, whenever you dash through these, the game is kind of gonna go like this. <laughs> I don't think he really went through that wall, which is not a wall. So what happens is sometimes you're gonna dash through things, and you're gonna start interacting with more things, and it's not gonna allow you because it's not gonna verify this transition you did here. I don't know how, how it works. Uh, look here. Oh wait. Uh, so what I recommend you, if you're dashing through these grades uh, as you are playing the game and you are playing with predictive mode, uh, just always go for the slash OOS, the out of sync thing, because it's going to resync you. There, okay. Wrong, 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 wrong place. Shouldn't be here. Here, yeah, it's here. Big door, yeah. Here we go. This door we can dash through as well. Yeah. And we are in the bus, we are at Piety. Yeah, okay, you can be to the side as well. Here, usually, there is a lot of creatures. Uh, be careful not to die here. Ah, not as many. After you enter here, after you went through a portal, like this, uh, this becomes a checkpoint. So we don't need to place a portal, right? I just want to place a portal because it's not uh, and anything you just want to go in. I want to finish the game in a kind of hardcore uh, idea. So piety, 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 piety. Thank you. Don't stand still. Don't stand still. Let's do. Okay, she's almost dead. She didn't even transform. Yes! Okay. One of the most horrible things about Piety is that she's going to teleport and enter in those red or blue circles and she transforms herself into, uh, into this form. Lunaris, it's the archer one. She's gonna burst you with cold arrows and the, the other one. It's like a melee person, she's gonna go onto you and gonna like very, very, very fast attack you. It's quite difficult to, to kill her in those forms. And what you can do is just teleport out, then come back with full charges and kite 
while uh, it disappears so it's gonna be debuffed you can also kill the portals but it's easier just like be close to her cast the thing cast the blight dash cast uh essence drain cast bane right for, forget about contagion should not have this contagion there so essence drain bane dash blight dash blight that's it pop up your flasks right uh even though you don't need the speed you need this and the shock immune because she uses a lot of shock and the elemental ras it's quite important so okay here it's good level up again <clears throat> let's move uh, this way oh yeah this we should have gotten before so here is soul rend soul rend is a variation is another thing like what is the name essence strain but it pierces and it's six enemies so it's a little different uh we can try showing you this uh, i'm gonna get this one and here there's nothing check the items oh, but well. another four link that requires strength why jesus why order mids no What we could do here is we could get this one. Uh, no, it's armor and evasion. Why not? Items that are armor and evasion means that they have a strength and dex requirement, which means that they roll much easierly red and green sockets. This being a three green one blue is kind of a odd setup. Not the oddest, right? because his strength and dex have the same quantity there the same amount like 43 43 so if we get this one we need to get the strength and we need to recolor in a four decent color in armor meh, really ain't gonna help us so just skip this one and we're gonna find more uh vendors now chests i'm not even identifying because I'm gonna have to make them the number of sockets I want and now here, one skill point thank you very much one more here now we go this way okay, that's that's a little a little rain uh, this is a nice one too <clears throat> to have as a protection flask uh, not not using it right now I really haven't been using this recently in fact so this is the tower key <clears throat> to get us into the tower <clears throat> I'm just gonna get you uh, I'm just gonna go to oh this is still here I thought this wouldn't be here now uh, I'm just gonna get us to the next part there and I'm gonna be finishing as a good piety <clears throat> sorry for my throat I haven't been used I'm not used to talking uh, this much uh, non-stop And if you're watching this video for the first time, you just randomly got here. Uh, feel free uh, to create a new character, start solo so far or not, and go back to the first video and play along with me. Uh, it's quite a nice uh, opportunity. If you have any questions, again, uh, put them down below. I will be reading them as uh, as soon as I can. And uh, we try to reply to everybody <clears throat> and I accept suggestions as well, of course. <clears throat> as I put on my stream sometimes, uh, criticism is always welcome. Bullshit, no. So, if you want to just be a dickhead, make sure that you're not going to be hurt. <clears throat> now, this area here is a little difficult to read, and there is a lot of variations. And uh, GGG, the developers of this game, running gear games, they are always. Oh, there's the the, the thing. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I know that the the temple should be around here. Yeah, there it is. I know because of the flame. There's, I think, two flames. One there, one here. No, it's just one. So because of the flame, I know this is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a portal here. And I'm going to go back there. 
Alright, I would just place a portal where I was, but then when I saw that was the thing, I just... Mm, no, that's okay. Just gonna do this. <clears throat> I thought I could die and just re-walk through, but no. Walk here, get this waypoint. Because this way here, uh, we have the library. And somewhere here, we have the Labyrinth Ascendancy. Which is the last library we need. And uh, I want to do that. Uh, but probably in the next video, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be finishing the sentences and then I'm going to do the labyrinth and I'm going to express a little bit of the labyrinth. Oh, one more vault side area. Okay, yeah. Here it starts getting a little hectic. Yeah. I need to fix my, my other res. My light res. How much I have? 16. It's too little. Yeah, this uh, Ominous, the, the boss we're gonna be facing now, is quite strong uh, in light damage. He has many skills that deal light damage, and with high frequency, and they are not weak. And I don't really wanna die. But again, I'm in soft core, if I die, whatever, who cares. I just don't want to. I'm a, I'm a, a character lover. That's a lot of attack. Move your fucking butt. Wow. Now, you can did you see how many attacks it got? And we have seen those creatures before. They don't attack this fast. Probably there is something uh, buffed uh, within the affixes they have, right? You can see that if a mouse over this one, they say fire, ice shots, right? So. Uh, Magic creatures, they get like some fixes, and rare creatures, they get even more. So here, superior lightning, vol lightning strike. Uh, gems also have quality, and this increases something in them. And you can find this out now, but before this wasn't available, by hovering your mouse over the jump, holding out, and down there is gonna say additional effects from quality, and it's gonna tell you what is the range there. And uh, that range can always be a little bit over... Uh, not overwritten, but you can sometimes take it a little over that point because quality for things in this game go all the way up to 20 but you can do things to make them go after. Gems can only get, uh, as, of this, uh, as of this patch, uh, heist uh, they can only get to 23% and these are like the best as gems you can get and this is something you can get using raw orbs right in a 20% quality gem there is oh, it's there um, so don't worry about this now this is more really important. so something about this map that I, I don't know as a rule of thumb again I'm not a speedrunner this is just empiric uh, understanding it's uh, this is a tower and so it's a very round map and if the door is here the uh, the stairs are going to be like on the other side of the circle right you can see that it's not here right but uh, it's here so I did like this half moon shape now look here it goes from here to here so probably is around here. So we can go straight here. See that? There it is. The upper scepter of God. Now I think that there was a waypoint on that floor there. Uh, but I'm going to try to kill both this here just, just to have the completion of okay, finished act three in this video. Just even gonna ignore that thing. Have here. Back here. Here. Oh, Jesus oh Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. I'm not gonna fix my resist to kill Dominus. I'm gonna pray I can kill him without dying. Why I'm casting so many uh, contagions here? 
because whenever I casted Contagion and I dashed, there were more creatures in front of me. Uh, and if I casted uh, Essence Rain, it wouldn't work. And in Zoom, one of these things here, probably is in the next uh, in the next four, that if you're playing the game for the first time, in one of these things there will be a Scion inside, and you want to save him, her, it, her, and uh, then you can play with the Scion. I've never really made the Scion build, uh, but I'm quite interested in three. Here, that's where she goes out. So here's the last one. Now we go to the top of the tower. Run, run, run. Oh, there, 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 there. Okay. This boss has a, a lot of faces. Not a lot of faces, but it has some faces. Uh, the first one, you have to kill the people here. And they're quite deadly uh, people. Again, everybody's lightning here. There's fire damage. This guy that does this freaking attack, I hate him. Then uh, you can see these creatures here. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> the buttons, totems, okay, yeah, the light is so strong, now, oh, that hurts, yes, you can see this, look, there's two other things there, so she has two more summons to use to kill us, uh, and doing all of these nasty attacks, okay, and we got the music, put the music, Listen to the music. I want to increase the volume, but I don't want to die. Oh! I have no immune to bleeding. If you're playing hardcore, you should have immune to bleeding. Okay. Because these creatures make you bleed. Like how crazy. Okay, somebody cursed me? Through the wall? Ah, it's dumb. It. Okay, get it. Okay, this is the attack it's at. So how this attack works is you have to repeatedly do this dance here. Okay, this is the punch. This is a lot of damage. Okay. I think it was okay with that. Now look here. Okay, the punch. Easy, easy, done, boy. Okay. The thing with those uh, Spectre Patronum, as I say, uh, casts is it goes like for, I think, I would say like 3 seconds, so it goes like 1, 2, 3, and it finishes. But then he reborns in his true form, and in this true form, you have to stand within this bubble we are in here. So, Contagion, Bane, Essence Train, Blight, pop up your flasks, try to move, it's a lot of damage, try not to go outside of this area, and uh, rush him now, as fast as you can, he's dead here. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. Now, if you are like me and you're a bit stupid, it took me a long time to find out that here you have the aqueduct, the aqueduct thing, right? I would talk to Diala and then I wouldn't know how to finish here. I would go to the city and you can see the F4, which is the aqueduct uh, waypoints there. But you can just click here, go to the aqueduct, you are at the beginning of the F4. And that's it for now, people. Thank you very much. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Next video, we're gonna be doing the finishing the ascendancies, uh, the ascendancy trials, and ascend into Trickster, which we have a big, big power boost. And uh, but you can uh, always ascend before killing Dominus. It's it's easier. It's gonna make your life uh, easier, especially uh, if you get the more defensive uh, node or points instead of getting the offensive as I'm gonna do okay uh, thank you very much bye bye have an amazing day see you